This is the content strategy that will help you build online authority fast. You want to create videos that will attract your ideal clientele so they'll buy your product or hire your services. But what kind of content should you make to convince targeted strangers on the internet to give you money? So I've condensed three years of my experience growing my personal brands online, learning from digital courses, investing in expensive coaching programs, and what I picked up from client work into this free video so you can save a ton of time and money. If you follow the exact strategy in this video, you'll build a loyal audience and get potential clients flowing in like this and emails like this. I'll break the content strategy into three stages. The first stage, you want to show competence. This is to convince people that you know what you're talking about. The second content stage is your hero journey. This content is to get viewers to like you as a person and give them a reason to come back. The last stage is called viral and discovery. This is gonna be your attempt to go viral and get mass appeal. All of these components work together and the strategy wouldn't work without one or the other. This strategy will give your channel a clear direction and boost your credibility. So you don't waste time creating random viral content that mostly satisfy your ego, but doesn't really convert into sales. So let's start with the first ingredient, showing your competence. So the first order of business for your YouTube channel is not to go viral. Your number one job is to immediately prove to people on the internet that you know what you're doing if they were to hire you. Because ultimately that's what you want, right? To make money online. So example content that can prove your competence, the best one is social proof. So if you already have a past client, you do a client interview and upload that. So people don't wanna hear what you have to say about yourself. They wanna hear what other people have to say about you. That's really powerful. So let's say you're starting out, you don't have that. So the second best thing is case studies. So case studies can be about your client or it could be about yourself. So for example, when I started YouTube, I didn't have any YouTube clients, but I did have my own YouTube channel that I managed to get leads for other businesses. So I use myself as a case study. So this is the second best thing. But the next type is educational videos. So these can be your how-to videos in your niche. Okay, so here's three reasons why you gotta do this type of content first. Number one, you don't have the chops to do viral content. It takes some skill and confidence to pull that off, but you should have the confidence to teach people about your niche. Two, your prospects can see you on video. They can see how you talk, your personality. So the point of this is, yeah, you can deliver the stuff, but they also want to make a human decision. You want them to feel like, hey, you know what? This guy seems like a nice guy. I think I can work along with him. You want to assure them that. And lastly, these kind of how-to videos, they get search traffic, meaning people are already searching for answers about the topic. But here's the thing though, you can't have a channel that's all about how-tos and client interviews. It's too boring. Also a little bit of story, when I started my YouTube channel, I was targeting a lot of search traffic. And I did get a lot of search traffic, but you know what? They found my video, they get what they wanted, they don't subscribe and they never come back. That's not the kind of audience that you want. So how do we fix this? All right, so once you have around five videos to show your competence, you're ready to move on to the next step, your hero journey. So the purpose of a hero journey is to build a connection with your audience and give them a reason to come back to your channel. So to understand this, let's look at your favorite YouTubers. Why do you subscribe to them and why do you look forward to their next content? I don't know about you, but I'm gonna tell you mine. So I follow a few YouTubers online and I don't follow them because they have a fancy camera, fancy mic, fancy setup or ADHD editing because they made me feel an emotion. Maybe they motivated me or inspired me. Maybe they showed how they overcome a problem that is very similar to what I'm going through. Maybe they make me feel like they really get me. They, they're talking directly to me with my problems exactly. So I feel connected with them. Or maybe they're sharing their insecurities. We are all humans and we have insecurities, okay? But nobody wants to talk about that. So when these YouTubers, they open up their insecurities, chances are it's something similar that you also face because they're brave to voice it out, builds a connection with the audience. So you can use the same strategy to spark an emotion with your viewer by leveraging your personality and your personal stories. So what kind of content connects with your audience? So example, sharing your journey or vlogs. The second one is you can share your wins and losses. And the third one is you can share lesson learns that inspires and motivates others. Now, I wanna point out something here. Document your journey when you're building your business. So for example, I am a YouTube agency owner. What I'll do is document behind the scenes of what's it like being an agency owner. Like share everything on the back end because that story is what makes you unique. The whole point of doing this is to show that you're an actual human and not some AI, okay? You're real. 
Two, they watch so much of your videos, it's almost like they know you. And that's the trust that you want to build. Three, when you do these kind of stories that have your setbacks, your wins, your losses, so that makes them subscribe and come back to figure out, hey, what's going to happen? It's kind of like an episode of your favorite sitcom. It never really ends at one episode. You want to know what's going to happen in the next episode and then the next episode. So you can approach this kind of like a soap opera or like a sitcom. And lastly, these kind of content, people don't really search for this kind of stuff but it will get recommended on the sidebar on somebody else's similar video. So you are the hero of your channel and the audience want to feel like they know you and they're taken along with your journey. Hence the name Hero Journey. So once you have around five of these Hero Journey content videos, your homepage will look pretty good. And now you can move on to the final stage, viral and discovery. The purpose of this content is to reach a wider, newer audience. Once you reach this stage, you should have the skills and chops to try a viral content. 100% transparency though, I've never gone viral myself. The highest view I've had in any single YouTube video was 121,000 views. And that's from reviewing a robot vacuum that I did. It has nothing to do with my niche. Once I do have a viral video where I teach people about YouTube though, I'll do a new video to reverse engineer that. So make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss that out. In the meantime though, I've studied and reverse engineered successful YouTubers for years. And here are some viral content ideas for my research. So first, trending topics in your niche. Two, you can mention public figures within your niche. This will always do good. Three, you can do lists, negatives. For example, in the crypto world, you can create something that will spot controversy, like why the crypto market will never rebound. For me, at my current YouTube stage, I'm focusing most of my attention, showing my competence and sharing my hero journey. And I think that's where you should too, as a beginner. All right, cool. Now you know the three content strategy pillars that you need to do. It may sound like a lot of work and it is, but at least you have a clear strategy of what you should do and what you should not do. There you have it. By now, you should have 100% clarity on what type of content you should do as a new YouTuber who's trying to get more clients in. But the next logical step is to figure out what content topic specifically to make a video about. And in order for you to do that, you need to know how to do keyword research. If you want to learn how to do that, watch this video right here.